very old head. I want to start with team news. Uh, Harry Kane and Jack Grealish both trained this morning. Will they be fit to start and will Kyle Walker get some minutes for the first time since you took over? Yeah, we, we trained yesterday as well, so Harry and, um, and Jack both got through the session, so um, yeah, we're in, a, we're in a good position. Um, I think it's important that we, we freshen the team up a little bit. Um, but yeah, we, we feel confident we're in, a, we're in a good place. Thursday was a difficult night. What have you learned from that defeat and how have you on a personal level found the extra scrutiny? Well, I think it's, it's always uh, tough, um, the, the scrutiny that we're on. That we're under, um, you know. Obviously, I was, it's it's nothing that I'm um, not used to. I've been I've been a professional footballer for such a long time. Um, I think the the reaction is fair enough. I think it's you know you have to respect people's opinions. We um, we didn't perform as well as we can on the night, and um, I would expect a, a reaction tomorrow night. Mark, Lee's worked with a lot of the players before. I just wonder how have the squad reacted to the defeat and is there a feeling within the group that you want to put this right for Lee? Yeah I think um, it's important that we put things into perspective and um, you know there's loads of senior players in the team and players in the team that have dealt with defeats and difficult moments um, so I think everyone's just rallied together and made sure that you know tomorrow that we can go and get a reaction tomorrow. Hi Lee. A lot's been made of the, the team you named the other night without a striker. Are we going to play with a, a forward tomorrow night? Yeah, I think it's, like, like I spoke about the other day, I think it's, um, it's something that um, I'll look back on in maybe two or three months and um, you know, be better for it. Um, I wanted to give this, this job my best, my best shot for the three camps that, that we spoke about. Um, I didn't want to have any regrets. Um, it was important, like, like I spoke about before, that we, we do try something different at times. Um, and think I'll be a, a better coach for that. Um, yeah, but I think we'll probably be a little bit more conventional tomorrow night. Can I also ask just about the comments you made after the game yeah. against the, the loss against Greece? You said that hopefully after the November camp we'll be going back to the 21s. Yeah. Okay, just ask what you meant by that. Well, yeah, hopefully is a, a, a word and a phrase that I use quite a bit. It's um, you know there's there's obviously no guarantees in life, uh, including tomorrow. So um, it's it's. It's a job that I'm really proud of, the under-21s, a jo job that um, I'm mass massively invested in. Um, but I know there's no guarantees, but you know, my, my, the, the plan has been, is the same, that you know, give this, this job for the, for the three camps the best, the best that I can do, along with the rest of the staff, and, and hopefully we can um, be in a good position. And a question for, for Mark as well. Uh, Lee made you captain for England under 21, so uh, have a relationship. What's it like being playing under him again and just uh, following on from what Tim said, what have you made of the criticism from the other night? Yeah, it's always exciting to play for Lee. Um, someone I respect a lot, someone I have a lot of admiration for. I know he's sitting right here, but um, yeah, what he's done for me as a player, how he's helped me you know, in the younger ages and helped me improve, you know, it's because of him that I was able to make that step up to the seniors as well, so um, so yeah, it's been fantastic. With the scrutiny, um, I don't pay too much attention to it just because I'm not aware too much of it. Um, I know we have standards for ourselves in the camp, and we try to you know set those for ourselves. Um, but like I said, it's important that we just move on tomorrow and try and get a reaction. So we go back to Jack Pitbrook. Thank you. Hi, Lee. Um, do you think that tomorrow night's game is a moment for you to win some trust and support back from the public? I'm not. Sh I'm not sure. To be honest, I think it's it's important that um, I've got trust and support from the team. Um, I think that that in in regards then pays pays forward. Um, I think the the uh, the amount of praise that the team and myself got from the first two games was was obviously very good and very positive. Um, you know, we fell below them standards uh, the other night that, that that the players have set for themselves. And um, the most important thing is is a reaction. You want the you want the public. Um, to, to trust and to love the team, um, because the impact that, that, the, that the national team has, has on the on the public is, you know, it's very inspiring, and, and hopefully, um, yeah, we can we can keep building on that. Um, the team looked pretty vulnerable on the break against Greece. Why do you think that was? Now you've had a chance to reflect on it. Well, I think we didn't keep the ball well enough in in higher areas. We got in some really good positions. Um, you know, watching the game back a couple of times now. Um, you know, there's always an emotional reaction after the game, um, 
at, at points in the game it wasn't good enough. Um, but there was a lot of positives from the game. Um, you know, but we we know that we can be, do a lot better than what we've what we've shown. And um, the big thing tomorrow is that re showing that reaction. I think um, you know it's a game that the that the players are really looking forward to. Will we see anything different in terms of tactics or selection in order to to make sure the team is more defensively secure tomorrow? I'd, I'd expect you to see both. Thank you. Okay, any further questions? Yeah. Thanks. Uh, I'm from Finland. Uh, how do you see uh, your opponent, the team of Finland? Yeah, we um, we we're very respectful of the of the team. Um, we found it very difficult at Wembley to to break the team down, especially in the first 45 minutes. Um, I think they'll feel quite confident that that they can um, stifle us. Um, and it's a it's a team that we've you know we we feel very well prepared for to play against. Mark, you have very religious background. Do you have some kind of rituals before the matches? No, nah, not rituals. Um, I just give thanks to the man above and then go out and do what I do. Thanks. Back about Sam Matterface then. Thank you. Uh, Lee, I just wondered um, how the result on Thursday impacts your thinking going forward for the next few games in terms of plotting a route back to League A and getting promotion from the Nations League and how important that is, not only for you, but for the camp and for England as a whole. Yeah, I mean, that was the objective that was set out at the, um, at the start of the, of the campaign. It's, a, it's one that, that we're heading towards, really important. The, um, you know, the qualification for the World Cup is, is something that you know, is also a priority, so it's, it's important that we, um, we get back on track. Mark, is that something that the players are conscious of as well? Absolutely. I think every single game is important. Every single game, um, you know, in a way leads up to that, that big tournament that we all want to get back to and try and do the best that we can. So, you know, any opponent, any game that we have um, is a vital one. Okay, anything else from the back? No. Oh, one at the back there. Thank you. Hi. I just wanted to know what was the reason behind you didn't want to train here in Helsinki? Um, no reason really. We, we, we train at a really good venue back in the UK, um, which we, which we um, were really grateful for. Um, it gives us a chance to work on some tactical play and some set play, so there was, that was the only reason. So there is no risk of underestimating the opponent? No, it's something that we do for every game. Okay. I think we're all finished. We'll end it there. Thanks for your time, guys. Cheers.